Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Paulina and here on my channel I talk about fragrances. I love perfumes and here I show you my new purchases. I talk about my favorite perfumes, about old school retro fragrances. And today I'm going to talk about the three fragrances from House Stark. If you are interested in this topic, please stay with me. And I have to say this is my first fragrance review in English because previous reviews were all in Russian. I am, in, uh, I am Russian, so today is like my debut in English. Please support me. I got my hands on these three samples of House Stark. House Stark is a designer house found by, founded by Philip Stark, who is designer, architect, very talented person. He, was, he worked for Pierre Cardin and uh, was already famous in his 30s. He designs basically everything. Pieces of furniture, uh, some de technical devices, luxury yachts, houses, and at some point he started, he launched his fragrance line. There are not so many fragrances in this line, I think seven, and I have three samples. And I wanted to share you my thoughts about them. First, I would like to start with this fragrance called Peu de Lumière Magique. In English, it will be Skin of the Glooming Magic. It was launched in 2018 and the nose behind it is Daphne Bouget. It is Eau de Parfum. And what is this fragrance about? I'm going to spray it once again on my hand just to refresh, oops, refresh my memory. The opening is just amazing. It's just magnificent. It is about white flowers, jasmine. It has notes, some citrusy notes and um, some spiciness of ginger. And of course it has patchouli. The opening is one million dollar. This is something unique. When I first sprayed on my skin, I was so in love with this fragrance. I was already Googling uh, what is the price and where I can purchase it. But after some time, when it dries down, it becomes a little bit boring, trivial, usual floral scent. So I was a little bit disappointing disappointed um, after this magnificent opening. This fragrance is unisex. I think men could easily uh, wear this. It is quite sensual. But as I said, I won't be buying this because after the amazing opening I was disappointed by the quite usual dry down. The next fragrance I would like to talk about called, is called Peau de Soie, which you can translate as skin of silk or silky skin. The nose behind it is Dominique Ropillon, Maître uh, Parfumeur, and this fragrance was launched in 2016. What is this fragrance about? There are some powdery, woody notes in it and some animalistic notes. As it, in the opening, it goes more in the masculine direction, in my opinion. It sounds like Eau de Cologne, but as, as it dries down, it becomes super soft and super smooth. And this is not flowers, this is not um, cream, this is not um, something creamy. This is something which I might describe as urban accord, like some industrial, but not. It, it is quite pleasant. It has some stationary note in it, if you know what I mean, like a paper notebook, like a new printed book or a new magazine. When you open it and smell this, it smells like printing. And as it, as it dries down, it becomes more powdery. And this is so soft and 
and so dusty, but this dustiness is not suffocating. It is quite sensual and intimate. And I would, I would suggest to wear it to people who are very intellectual, because this is sophisticated fragrance. This is good for people who work in a library or in an office, deal with paper and writing. And also with people, because this is quite intimate and the projection is not overwhelming. This is for sure a very interesting fragrance and I was really surprised by this. And I consider buying it. And the last fragrance I would like to talk about, I'm peeping in my notes because I, I was doing some notes while um, observing this uh, fragrances. This one is called Peu d'Ayu, which you can translate as skin from out there, from somewhere else. This fragrance was launched in 2016 and the nose behind it is Maître Parfumeur Annick Menardot. There are some woody and earthy notes in it, musk, uh, I'm going to spray it. And these both, these both fragrances are eau de toilette. So this is eau de toilette. If you like, if you like swamp, if you like more like oozy buttons or oozy ponds, this is your fragrance. This is fragrance of moldy cellar of some rotten, tainted grass or even cabbage leaves. This is such a strange smell. This is earthy and, well, yeah, the name of it is Peau de, Peau de Skin from Somewhere Else. This is, yeah, this is something alien to me. This is gothic, this is smell of decay. Um, a very moldy, um, tainted fragrance, uh, fragrance of um, cellar, of moist swamp, something like that. The fragrance is very blue and sad and I was really, I would say, I was really shocked um, trying this on. I don't know, if you have experience with this one, please let me know what, what are your thoughts about it, because for me it was something completely out of this world. I wanted to show you a very interesting design, well this is designer house, and uh, this is how it's supposed to work. This fragrances, this fragrances, the bottles, they kind of connected. It's very interesting um, design. So this uh, these were three samples of how how stark, uh, and I wanted to share my thoughts about these fragrances with you. I hope you like this video. Please support. Please like and comment. And see you soon in the next video in or in a comment. Thank you and bye bye.